All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming back. Today we are going to stage a very interesting workshops about the themes. Yesterday we decided on three themes, and today we have a Ms. Tu, who is now working on PhD program for uh, energy saving, eco, blah, blah, blah. So she proposes to add one more. And uh, so fourth theme will be about eco, uh, building or eco homes, 50 homes. That's assumed project. Uh, before we break out, I think in Europe, in America, or wherever, the morning lecture start with uh, jokes, uh, anecdotes, things like that. So I start, and I ask you to tell me what are the happiest thing over the past three months, right? Private, uh, the academic, whatsoever, uh, two, three people. <clears throat> Let me tell you. Uh, we have a beautiful athletic field outside, right? Nikujo uh, Kyongijo. That's, that's very good. Yes, thank you very much. I used to come to this campus about 47, 48 years ago, right, those days. And I, when I was invited to speak by Professor Anegawa at December monthly forum last year, I saw the one long-standing, very tiny uh, personal question. Uh, I used to take uh, quite a few trips a year until last year. Say, over the past four or five years, I went to Europe, America, United States, average eight times, nine times a year, right? Whenever I come back, came back from Europe, say, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, or the Munich, the Frankfurt, uh, we arrive in uh, morning time around, say, uh, 9 o'clock to uh, noon. And then I was sleepy a little bit, and I took a short nap. And always I uh, suffered from a nightmare, very bad dream. The dream is, oh, it's only the September. I have not registered for any subject this year. I'm going to fail, right? Always. And when I came here for the first time in 25 years to Hiyoshi campus, and I saw this uh, before the lecture, I uh, went and see this athletic field. And I remembered, oh, my bad dream is connected with this athletic field. It means I failed sports in year one, because I hate running, I hate swimming. So believing that nobody fails in the sports subject. But actually, professor gave me a bad mark. So I did it next year, right, one more time. And so that sort of trauma. And uh, I got up, oh, it's OK. I'm already 68 years old, and I have KO diploma, Bachelor of Political Science. So that's it. Now, after that, I don't dream <laughs> of that, you know. Uh, but uh, the situation. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, I ask you, uh, what is the happiest thing, say, uh, in the past three months, four months, say so start uh, with uh, Mr. Tu, uh, Ms. Tu, academic, private, or whatsoever. Happiest thing. Mm -hmm. For the last two months, yes. I start to uh, reorganize my 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, Oda san, tell me. Yes, Dolly? Happiest, or well, happy thing in the past two, uh, three, four months? Three, four months? Um, let me think. Um, well, I am glad that, uh, well, actually, uh, I, I was in the States uh, mm -hmm. last week. Yes. And I haven't seen my parents in a long time. Mm. And um, I was there. <coughs> Well, I'll just you know, enjoy a good time with them, mm. you know, play golf, just go eat and see relatives. Mm. I think that is very it's a precious time to me. I mean, I always spend time in the university, like mm. Japan, like different places, mm. on the East Coast. So it's mm. really good to see them. Thank you. Yeah. When I was in Indonesia in my late 20s, early 30s, uh, Teresa Ten, Don Luchin, was an Asian hero, heroine. I bought a lot of CDs, yes, listened to Teresa. And then she came to uh, Japan to be a big star. Now, Ame. Yes. OK, thank you very much. This kind of you know, ice break and a warm up is very necessary. You don't do it at the Japanese universities. <laughs> yes. And I'll show you some uh, pictures. Oh, this, by the way, uh, this is uh, the uh, you know, web article about uh, KO. We promoted KO first and a KBS and this grand design by Japan program. And uh, this special seminar. Uh, the, the reason is that I'm one of the global advisors that's the largest media of project management. Uh, all of us, global leaders of uh, project management, uh, serve as uh, advisor. We're not paid, of course, so it's a good chance to promote. Well, uh, I show some uh, pictures what we're doing uh, abroad. So if you need a hard copy, I think I'll say kindly prepare one, so please come and pick up. I go to Ukraine about twice a year. 
I'm going to visit the Ukraine in January next year. This is the sta uh, stadium of uh, Kiev Dynamo, the famous uh, European soccer team. We have now one Japanese uh, player at Kiev Dynamo. This picture taken from eighth floor of cabinet uh, building. This is my home away home. And <clears throat> this is a picture of my seminar in, in July 2008 at Chernobyl uh, Nuclear Power Station Training Center. It's not adjacent to the, you know, travel the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It's about 25 kilometers to the west. And the person in the center, Karen P2M, P2M is my former association's uh, project and program management standard. And that's, uh, we have Russian version, Ukrainian version. This uh, German in the middle is elite of Russian speaking world about nuclear business. And he said, uh, the reason that I was invited to speak is that Western contractors are not performing quite well about, <coughs> uh, say, uh, uh, coming down the trouble of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And then uh, they are interested in the Japanese application of knowledge management to uh, innovation program management. So that's it. And he told me that it would take uh, 50 years before that Chernobyl site would be a complete greenfield. So that's typical, you know, uh, Hairo Kote. So the the Tokyo Power Electric Power Company and the government announced that it would take minimum 30 years before Fukushima will be in the greenfield, right? So we expect that uh, field. This uh, you see uh, the plant on the right hand picture. The right hand plant is number four nuclear power plant who uh, blew out. Right? So what we're doing, what they're doing is uh, building a very big concrete dome to shelter the plant. But there have been cracks, and then uh, they're going to rebuild that big dome. This is. Yes. They mean it's going to be a giant dome yes. with greenfield around right. it. Right. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Except for the giant radiation dome. Uh, no, I mean that the big dome will be removed, and that's that's going to be a complete greenfield. So they're going to clean up under the yes. dome. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, this is my. Uh, team in Ukraine, uh, the, this German with glasses in the center, he's uh, Professor Dr. Fedir Yaroshenko, uh, the Minister of Finance, and he himself is a program manager for promoting Japan-born uh, innovation program management for his uh, financial, uh, I mean state finance reconstruction and a new economic growth. So when I'm going to visit Ukraine, he will come and inaugurate the seminar and stay for three hours, four hours. He's a professor, likes to speak. He's not just a politician, right? Uh, and lady on the left hand side, is, she's uh, Olga, 26 years old, the master of science in sustainability. Remember that sustainability subject is very growing in Europe, especially in Europe. So she's very capable, speaks uh, very good English, and uh, manages all of us.
program manager. And the professor on my right hand side is Professor Sergei Boucher, is number one in uh, former uh, now CIS countries, very famous professor. So two, uh, two of us, Sergei and I, are advisor to the finance minister. <coughs> this is what we're doing. So Ukraine is to perform much better. Look at that uh, the GDP. In year 2009, GDP was minus 19 because of the very beautiful prime minister, but uh, didn't know anything about, you know, finance management. Yes. Now, we are seeing, talking about 4.5, 5.5. And the minister uh, told that learning Japanese system of knowledge is a good point for, for him to, to negotiate with IMF, right? He knows that Japan is the worst country in terms of a state debt, right? 200% of GDP. Still, they say it's different. But Japan has something that we should learn. That's what he's saying. Uh, this year, uh, Prime, uh, Minister Yaroshenko visited Japan, and uh, this is the official discussion between the two finance ministers. And as you know, Minister Noda is now a prime minister. So my friend Yaroshenko is very happy. So I was there as uh, uh, assistant advisor to the Ukraine minister, not Japanese, not as Japanese. <coughs> <coughs> So this is sort of workshop that you are going to do after this. This is a Tokyo workshop with a Filipino business uh, uh, managers. They are the Kacho section head, department head, or owners of SME, small, medium-sized enterprises. They are very good. One of the top performers among my uh, courses. We spent two weeks. This is the Indian uh, executives uh, who came to my one day workshop, similar one, in the morning. I spent, we spent uh, four hours of lectures. In the afternoon, four hours of uh, workshop. They are uh, uh, most of them are department managers and higher of uh, Indian state-owned corporation like Indian Oil Corporation, Gas Authority of India, uh, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm very popular in India. They say Tanaka-san is very uh, handy for us. You are not purely Japanese. I can understand what you say. And at the same time, you know the Western world, so that's very good. We don't just want to listen to pure Japanese who sometimes are very big in what uh, he or she is uh, saying, right? And that's India. And this is a workshop, and I usually do a one-hour keynote presentation. And uh, this conference, six uh, 600 uh, delegates, that's uh, very big one, and uh, so many government officials come. So I have friends from former Secretary General of uh, this and that ministries. <coughs> this is my class in Paris, uh, Schema Paris campus. You see, this is a real global team, right? Not only French, French, but uh, African French, French African countries, Chinese, of course, Indian. Uh, the Japanese lady, that year, I uh, took her on uh, Ms. Inoue. She's a uh, senior manager of 
training at Sony Global Supply Chain Management because she speaks almost perfect uh, Japanese, let's say English, and she's a good trainer. So she was very popular. So combined, we got 9.1, uh, you know, variation from students. And then we have students from uh, Latin America, of course, but we never see Japanese. We have Korean students sometimes. Chinese, of course, 25% are Chinese students. China, France are very close. So there are so many Chinese students, business persons in Paris, especially students. They always ask me, you are a professor from Japan. Why don't we have Japanese students? I said, I don't know. Ask my, ask, uh, my Japanese students in Japan. So it's very interesting. And this is uh, my students at uh, Admiral Makaro State University of Shipbuilding. Actually, that's not shipbuilding. Overall University with, uh, say, uh, 17,000 students in uh, altogether 17 departments. You see, this is, they are uh, master students of uh, dedicated project management programs. About 55% uh, uh, women. That's typical about Russia, Ukraine. So the, the Russian Revolution took place in 1917. From that year, equal opportunity for genders. So at all the universities, including technical universities, women uh, are half of the total number of students. I need translator because I don't speak Russian or Ukrainian. Yes, that's it. So, uh, it's time to break. Uh, we have sign up sheet here for a workshop. Have all of you signed up? Chosen subject? And one more for you. And Professor Anegawa will join you. Okay? And so, uh, the first, anyway, we are breaking out and have a casual discussion about what to do, right? And then please look at the template slide and start to fill in that through discussion. Once again, management is not the job of a super person. All of you should contribute. Management is to get things done through people. All of you should contribute. But I suggest that please elect one chairperson, project manager, and uh, we spend 30 minutes 20 minutes and 10 minutes question and answer for each group rep uh, reporting result, starting say target at uh, 3 o'clock. But I'm going to check the progress. So target at 3 o'clock. So you should start streamlining your result of present, result of workshop uh, at the latest uh, 2 o'clock, uh, 2.30. It's OK. That's up to you. Um, Could you repeat the time schedule again? Time schedule, Eleven o'clock.
<coughs> well, talking about from the back, three o'clock is the target starting time of group presentation in this room. However, it may take longer than this. And today, we are originally scheduled to complete by uh, at uh, six o'clock. So we could, you could spend more. Mean, meanwhile, I will check the progress of each group and ask you uh, if you are ready or not. So the three o'clock is the earliest time, possible time, that we stage a uh, group report about the result of your workshop, okay? This may be 3.30, 4 o'clock, but since this is Sunday, probably we wish to uh, complete uh, at, uh, say, 5 o'clock, 5.30. So is this agreeable to you? Okay, then Nanigawa-san, please assign rooms for four groups. From 11 o'clock, start work on template. Template number five plus number five. Number, number five. five. Look at PM. Uh, file, file number five. Start with PM, not PGM. Program management will be poor. Take this out. Oh, this is a PM workshop template project management. Yes, they show what it looks like. And this one. Yeah, and then there are some uh, suggestions, like guide for a project proposal, mm -hmm. some hints, right? But actual space are given here. Here you put in somebody who are good, uh, you know, uh, you know, operator of uh, PC word processing. Uh, it's okay. So no style is counted as uh, credit. So. Just large letter, le legible, that's fine. Okay. But still, I'm a little bit confused, so I should uh, report to you. What shall I do in between? So I will come back to you. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm staying here, but travel around the rooms. And you catch me and ask questions. Whatever questions, clarification or uh, the meaning of the term. So basically, this is all apply you, you learned yesterday. Uh, but I didn't spend much time in explaining it, gentlemen. Probably you got close. And then I repeat, explain one more time. Okay? Okay. So there's a group, four groups, the Medicare. So raise the hand. One, two, three, four. So number, uh, room number one over there. So that is the Medi Medicare. Okay, out of this room. Oh, out of this room, and uh, you have the number one no uh, room is assigned. assign. Uh, discussion group, a small one. And uh, fishery, you and two, two, two. And Mr. Ramesh is over there. Is that all? To, only two people? Yes. Okay, officially. Number two, group. Okay. And uh, another group is quite large. Uh, Tohok Tour. Uh, raise hand. With a large number. Number three. Have you, have you read uh, my case description about. Yes, that should be helpful. Yeah. Okay, so number three, discussion group. And uh, four, number four is uh, on energy and uh, smart and compact city. So these two and uh, yes. okay. And also there may be additional participants, and uh, they are a little bit late. So, but they will join you uh, sometime later. So that is the uh, group. And I forgot to tell you, uh, take lunch break, uh, basically at one o'clock. 
and uh, duration, time for lunch break is up to you. Right? So one hour or 45 minutes, that's up to you. Reflecting the progress, that's, that's project management work. <laughs> So, Ono-san, I'm going to PC. I'm going to PC.